Hi friends, welcome to another episode of Learn Loadrunner series. In this video, we are going to see about bookmarks in Loadrunner. So bookmarks helps you to debug and analyze your code. Uh, it will be very much helpful if your actions has uh, uh, thousands of lines of code. And uh, if you enable the bookmark, you can easily uh, uh, figure it out uh, which line needs more attention. and uh, it will be easy for your colleagues also to analyze your code. So we are going to see how to enable the bookmarks and how to navigate between the bookmarks. So to enable the bookmarks pane, go to view and select bookmarks or you can press Ctrl Alt K. So if you just select this option in the bottom, you can see bookmarks pane has appeared. So by default, uh, you don't see any bookmarks for your script. So you need to enable it uh, by adding the uh, bookmarks in the appropriate location. So assume that in the line number 13, I want to add a bookmark. So just select, click on that line and select toggle bookmark or you can press Ctrl F2 shortcut key. So once you toggle the bookmark what will happen is you can see the path of the script and the action name and which line we have bookmarked it. You can have multiple uh, bookmarks in your script. So right, right now I have two bookmarks and also in the action one I'm going to add another bookmark. So to navigate between the bookmarks you can use uh, previous bookmark shift plus F2 or you can use a next bookmark F2 key. So assume that in the action I have uh, two bookmarks I need to navigate. So you can uh, uh, keep clicking uh, previous bookmark or next bookmark. If you want to delete a particular bookmark select the bookmark you want to delete and click on this delete bookmark. If you want to delete everything in your uh, uh, script all the bookmarks you can uh, click on delete all bookmarks in the list. This will delete everything for you. So I hope this bookmarks feature will be helpful if you are particularly working on thousands of lines of code. So if you have time, please go to my next tutorial. Otherwise, thanks for listening. Have a great day. Thank you.